Malaysian voters will go to the polls on November 19th. It is a highly competitive race in a country that has not had political stability for several years. Jeff Grunebaum gives us a preview. Across the country, Malaysia's candidates and political parties make their pitches. From rallies to coffee table conversations, it's obvious election day is near. But there might not be a clear winner right after the votes are counted. A very potential scenario of, of the election outcome is actually a sort of like a hung parliament where you have each coalition does not en have enough seats to actually form government. And I think the immediate aftermath of that is that these coalitions will start uh, horse trading, talking to each other and try to form a coalition of coalitions of sorts. You know, we've had regular elections for more than 60 years now in Malaysia and I think it's never been as competitive as this particular election. Ibrahim Sufian, Programs Director at the Malaysia-based Merdeka Center for Opinion Research says, the three major coalitions all have populist policies, but there are differences in the image each one portrays. The oldest party, Barisan National or National Front, takes on a conservative, nationalistic uh, ideology uh, supporting the uh, Malay agenda, the indigenous Malay population agenda. The second coalition is Perikatan National or National Alliance. This is a newly formed coalition that has as its core party a splinter party from Barisan National and also the Malaysian Islamic parties. The third coalition, which is the traditional opposition coalition is Pakatan Harapan, the Alliance of Hope. And this particular coalition has more social democratic leaning, so slightly left of center, uh, multiracial in its outlook, so not favoring any particular community, but strongly supported by the minorities in Malaysia. In 2018, an opposition alliance won the general election for the first time since Malaysia gained independence from Britain in 1957. But two years later, that alliance collapsed due to defection. The country has had four prime ministers during the past five years. One, Najib Razak, who left office in 2018, is now serving a 12-year prison sentence following a 2020 conviction on charges connected to a multi-billion dollar graft scandal. The country is currently struggling with inflation as it tries to rebuild a pandemic-battered economy. The most important thing in, on the minds of voters is basically cost of living issues because wages haven't grown. The second issue is governance, the issue of corruption and the issue of uh, government transparency. The third area is political uncertainty in the context of who's going to run the country. An election just days away that currently has no clear winner in sight. Dave Grunebaum for VOA News, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia.